Good evening everyone, welcome to Night Prayer this evening. My name's Jodie, I'm part of the staff team here at St Margaret's Church in Raynham. And it's always just a joy and a privilege to be able to lead this time of night prayer this evening. Um, so whether you're joining us for like the hundredth time or whether you're brand new here, then you are very, very welcome. And do make yourself known to us. Um, you know, if you're watching via the website, you can always send us an email online at raynhamchurch.co.uk. Or if you're watching on Facebook, just leave us a comment or send us a message. We would love to hear from you um, and love to be able to support you through your own faith journey. It's the 1st of December today, um, so I hope that whatever, if you have any Advent traditions that you've picked up today, I hope that that has gone well. This year, um, because I saw it in the sale at Dobby's, we bought a DIY nativity. This day one, we made our stable today. And then um, throughout the month we'll, you know, um, build little, they're like little origami type figures. Um, so I will keep you updated um, on Saturday when I'm next doing uh, morning and night prayer. Um, I'll have a, a good number of scenes for the nativity. Anyway, home worship guides starting, oh, not morning prayer, night prayer. Starting on page nine and for our psalm this evening, Psalm 74. Um, which I will say in advance is not the happiest psalm, <laughs> but um, and I was tempted to not read it. But you know what? I don't. I don't want to just pick and choose with scripture, um, because actually the Bible is full of very gritty things, and I still believe it's the Bible. Still believe it's holy scripture. Um, so Psalm seventy four will be our psalm this evening, and we'll go from that um, into the rest of page nine. Let's pray. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Reveal among us the light of your presence, that we may behold your power and glory. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of light and darkness. To you be glory and praise forever. As evening falls, you renew your promise to reveal among us the light of your presence. May your word be a lantern to our feet and a light upon our path, that we may behold your coming among us. Strengthen us in our stumbling weakness and free our tongues to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. So Psalm 74, um, again, it's a bit of a gritty one, um, but I think it's worth reading anyway. And the subheading in my Bible for it says this, a plea for help in time of national humiliation. Maybe on some level we might be able to resonate with that tonight. Oh God, why do you cast us off forever? Why does your anger smoke against the sheep of your pasture? Remember your congregation, which you acquired long ago, which you redeemed to be the tribe of your heritage. Remember Mount Zion, where you came to dwell. Direct your steps to the perpetual ruins. The enemy has destroyed everything in the sanctuary. Your foes have roared within your holy place. They set up their emblems there. At the upper entrance, they hacked the wooden trellis with axes. And then, with hatchets and hammers, they smashed all its carved work. They set your sanctuary on fire. They desecrated the dwelling place of your name, bringing it to the ground. They said to themselves, we will utterly subdue them. They burned all the meeting places of God in the land. We do not see our emblems. There is no longer any prophet. And there is no one among us who knows how long. How long, O oh God, is the foe to scoff? 
is the enemy to revile your name forever? Why do you hold back your hand? Why do you keep your hand in your bosom? Yet God, my King, is from of old, working salvation in the earth. You divided the sea by your might. You broke the heads of the dragons in the waters. You crushed the heads of Levi Leviathan. You gave him as food for the creatures of the wilderness. You cut openings for springs and torrents. You dried up ever-flowing streams. Yours is the day, yours also the night. You establish the luminaries in the sun. You have fixed all the bounds of the earth. You made summer and winter. Remember this, O Lord, how the enemy scoffs, and an impious people reviles your name. Do not deliver the soul of your dove to the wild animals. Do not forget the life of your poor forever. Have regard for your covenant, for the dark places of the land are full of the haunts of violence. Do not let the downtrodden be put to shame. Let the poor and needy praise your name. Rise up, O God, plead your cause. Remember how the impious scoff at you all day long. Do not forget the clamour of your foes, the uproar of your adversaries that goes up continually. Lift up your voice with strength, O herald of good tidings. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Lift up your voice with strength, O herald of good tidings. In a moment of silence, can I encourage you to offer whatever is on your heart this evening to God, whether in the silence of your heart um, or aloud. I was just reminded in that psalm, Psalm 74, um, that there are places all over this world that are um, persecuted for praying like this. And um, I believe it is um, our mandate as the church to be praying for those places. So I'm just going to say a prayer. Heavenly Father, we know um, what a gift it is to be able to worship you in peace. Um, and we know that many all across this world are not able to do that, are faced with torture, with the possibility of death because of what they believe. And we pray for places um, across the, the world where you're church buildings are torn down, are set on fire, are disgraced. Thank you that you are sovereign and you are a God of righteousness. Provide your blessing on those places all over the world that are struggling today. Almighty God, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and to put on the armour of light, now in the time of this mortal life, in which your Son, Jesus Christ, came to us in great humility, 
that on the last day when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge the living and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal. Through him who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Awaiting his coming in glory, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining me for night prayer this evening. Um, enjoy the rest of your evening. And um, just in case you missed us saying it earlier, the church is open again for services as of tomorrow. So for Wednesday communion, if you are a regular there, um, then just to let you know, it will still be live streamed, but you're also welcome to attend in person. And the same for Sunday, sorry, Sunday services. Um, the church will be open with all of the usual kind of social distancing, mask wearing procedures. Um, if you have any questions about that though, please just get in touch with the church office um, or with one of us. Um, we'll be happy to, to give you any help that you need um, with navigating all the change once again. God bless you guys. Have a lovely yeah, rest of your evening. Sleep well tonight and see you again very soon. Take care.